Okay. So good on it? Thanks. Yes, the shelves look very bare right now, but that's because there's a reason behind it. Also, gotta pay homage to the Christmas pants my mom's found. My mom found for me. Hello? I'm not flexible enough for this. Look. They're Central Park Christmas pants. I don't think I've ever been happier in my life looking at these things. But hey hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to Arguably the video that I look forward to on my booktubers every year, so now I feel like I can do it. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video today, we're going to be talking about all the books I read in 2022. One, two, three! These are vaguely in order, not a thousand percent, but... I'm going to give you guys what I can remember, so, yeah, let's, let's get into it. I'm not going to tell you guys what these books are about because there are way too many. I've read so much more than I thought I did. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys the star rating and then move on. Obviously, it's not the end of the year, but and I'm going to be reading more books, but any books that aren't in the video, you guys are going to see in my December wrap-up anyways. So... The first book I read of the new year, which I can't even fathom the fact that this came out almost a year ago. Here's him by Colleen Hoover was the first book, gave it five stars. Uh, obviously I don't know if I would give it five stars now, but for the time being that I read it, it was a five star read. Loved it. Um, one of the last Coho books I actually ended up really liking. The next book that I read was the, should I go this way for all my books? The Score by Elle Kennedy. This book I gave a five stars. This is the third book in the Off Campus series really really like this one of the series I ended up finishing this year also love the old copies hate the copies by blue we'll get into that when you guys see those copies what I believe is the third book that I read of the year is it ends with us by Colleen Hoover and I gave this book a four star read I really liked it um yeah it was a fun time well I think it's bad to call it a fun time it was a good time to read the Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han gave this book a 3.5 stars. I started reading this after I watched the show, so obviously it wasn't as fun to read, and I did not read these in middle school when they first came out. I've seen so many reading vlogs and knew what happened, so 3.5 stars. On that. Addicted to You by Krissa and Becca Ritchie gave this book 4 stars, loved it, tabbed it. I need to fix these tabs, they stick out so far, but yeah is November 9th by Colleen Hoover and I guess with 4.5 stars. I loved it. Loved the plot twist at the end. Overall pretty good. The Goal by L. Kennedy. Here is the Bloom copy that I'm talking about. It's a little smaller. It's not, it's matte covers, not gloss covers, but I gave this book a 4 stars because I really like Sabrina and Tuck's story. So, is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Lightest. Gave this book 5 stars. Loved the plot twist. Did not see it coming super good. So my, we're getting into the summer reads. So we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. Gave this book five stars. Absolutely loved it. Have I picked up any of the other Emily Henry books that are on my shelf? No, because one, I feel like I'm not going to enjoy it as much and I don't want to ruin the author. And that's literally the only reason. So then we have Ricochet, which is the second book in Addicted Calloway Sister series. And I gave this book a four star as well. It's kind of 3.5, four stars. It was good. Nothing to like no bad comments, no good comments. It's just solid 3.54 stars. We read Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This was actually a 4.55 star read. I picked up other books in the series, but the other books in the series just weren't for me. But the Hades and Persephone, is, it's done immaculate in this super dark romance, but really, really good if you're into that. Love it for Spite. <laughs> Anna E. Collins. I don't even know who it's by. I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's a different kind of it was a different romance from what I've been reading, so. I read Shipped by Angie Hockman. I believe I gave this book a four stars. I did really, really like it. It was a bunch of very, very scenic, and it took me back to when I went on a cruise to the Virgin Islands in high school, and I just really, really loved it. Solid four star read. It happened one summer by Tessa Bailey. This was a five star read. Absolutely loved it. Spice level. It's amazing. Small town romance, grumpy sunshine, but like, 
he would do anything in the world for her. Okay, there's no miscommunication whatsoever in this book and I just absolutely love this book. X is Twisted Love by Anne Huang gave this book four stars. I actually kind of listened to this more than I read it but you can see the little bit that I did read I tabbed a lot. Uh, four star, very excited to read the rest of the series. I do have Twisted Games so stay tuned for when I read that book. The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I read this while I was on vacation in Florida and it was perfect because Florida and Dreamland is like Disneyland. It was amazing. I loved it. This was a five star read. I love Zara and Rowan and I'm very excited to read the rest of the series. Next is The Maidens again by Alex Michaelitis. I gave this one 4.5 out of five stars. Felt like the plot twist was a little similar to The Silent Patient but I love how they had a crossover in there. And the plot twist or there were several plot, plot twists the ending definitely did surprise me again a very good mystery thriller this is academic kind of mystery thriller which i also really really liked so first one is wretched by emily mcintyre this is one of the books in never after novel series dnf did because i just wasn't really i don't know wasn't really vibing with it i would probably force myself to finish it because i have like 100 pages left and that's it but the book i just did not get along with is as old as time this is part of the Twisted Tale series by Liz Brad Braswell. I went on a rant about this. I'm not going to continue to go on a rant about this. It's just, it, it was a DNA. We'll leave it at that. Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is probably very surprising for how much I love mystery and thrillers. And this is a YA mystery. And I loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I think I also read this year, but I definitely did. Um, but we're just going to, I guess, skip that. <laughs> skip past the fact that I gave that a five star. Loved it. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Good Girl, Bad Blood. I feel like I would have loved it but what went wrong was I was reading about five books at the same time and never picked this one back up and I don't feel like restarting the book but I also if I went to finish it it would not be as good of a rating because I do not remember a single thing from this book. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. First book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. This wasn't so much a DNF as I can literally finish this book and the entire series at any one point in my time and it, this gives off very fall vibes clearly and it, the fall time was over and it just it, it was not going to get picked back up and that's love in other words by christina lauren i wish i had the new cover but i don't just i don't need to say anything else five star read loved it you know we had a lot of dnfs but then we also had a lot of five stars the legacy by al kennedy now i've read every couple kind of like i read a couple every month um, and I finally finished this and I think October, beginning of October, no, end of October, beginning of November and I loved it. You can tell I loved it. Uh, just five star read. It's so sad to see this series and again the ugly bloom cover but another DNF that I will probably pick back up in the fall. I did not DNF it because I didn't hate it. It's just because the fall witchy time passed. The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. The second book in I guess the X Hex universe that I have is a horror hotel and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Obviously it's a very very short thriller. Um, this is by Victoria Fulton and Faith McClary by the way. There was nothing wrong with this. It just it was so short and I felt like I, it, I honestly really liked it. I would honestly give it a 4 star maybe. Uh, not a very like surprising ending. It just felt like I was reading this script to a like TFI, uh, TFIL overnight video kind of it starts with us by colleen huber i gave this book a three star no more to be said about it um just that's that that's all that needs to be said i'm trying not to get the ring light reflection on it just a three star the guest list by lucy foley this isn't so much a dnf as i just not have not finished the audiobook but i have not finished the audiobook in almost two months now so it's just a very confusing book like there's so many point of views and so many storylines like it's just a lot we have the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes i'm not even going to go on any more raves about this just know it's a five star read a six star if i can just just pick it up after that obviously we have the hawthorne legacy also by jennifer lynn barnes again another five star read loved it I would die for this book. I love this one more than the Inheritance Games. And I read the Final Gamut, which was a solid four and a half stars, bordering five star read. Love the ending of the series, and I can't wait for Brothers Hawthorne to come out. And Jennifer Lynn Barnes just started writing the Grandest Game, which I'm hoping is going to turn into a whole other series, kind of spin off series of this universe. And I'm very, very excited to see more of the boys and Avery, hopefully. Sleeping on it, we have Addicted for Now by Kristen Becker Ritchie. This is the thickest book I read this year. 
listened to it in 24 hours and absolutely loved it. I the audiobook is just amazing for the series, so there we go. We randomly on a whim, out on a whim, we picked up Shatter Me by Tehra Mafi, and this has now turned into my favorite series of 2022 and probably my favorite series of all times. This was a five-star read. If that wasn't obvious, absolutely love this book. We picked up Destroy Me, which was the first novella in this book. This is two of the novellas put together. I gave Destroy Me a four stars. Unravel Me was the next one we picked up. Gave us a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Loved it. Then we picked up the second one, the second uh, novella in this, and that's Fracture Me, and I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars because I hate Adam with a passion. Another DNF, and that was All I Want for Christmas by Wendy Ligia. Um, this just was not for me. I'm sure if you are a younger audience viewing this video, you would absolutely love this Christmas romance, but being that I'm 19 years old, this was just not... I'd give this a middle grade romance, not even a YA romance. It's very YA. So we jumped back into the Fracture Me series and we read Ignite Me. This book, a million, a million stars out of five. We got into Restore Me, which was a four and a half out of five star read absolutely loved it these two books together were amazing to read back to back absolutely loved them probably finished them in like a 24 hour time period both of them absolutely loved it and then we got back into the novellas so we have shadow me which i absolutely love this entire novella because it's all from kenji's point of view and we have shadow me which i gave a four star rating then we got defy me defy me was another five star read in this series i absolutely loved it. I, there was so much like battle and war and drama in this book and it just it gave me everything. It gave me everything. We had Reveal Me which for Reveal Me is a four and a half out of five star read. I did really really like that novella as well. Like I said I love Kenji so I read Imagine Me which was a four star read. I really liked the ending and it was so nice to finally see the characters have a happy ending so really liked it. And sadly, we have Believe Me, which was a three and a half out of five star read. It was just a little novella, kind of like a thicker novella. It wasn't like the 60 pages that we see in the other ones. It was just a really nice, cute epilogue that I really, really enjoyed. But it took, it did take a hundred and some pages for the wedding to happen. So, Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. I know this is kind of a plot twist to pick up after reading Fantasy, but this was one of my blindly picked TBR. I gave it three stars. I did listen to it. Um, didn't really give me the mystery thriller vibes I was looking for. And if you guys watched my video of blindly picking my TBR, how much I raved about the fact that I did not want to read this book, I read today, tonight, tomorrow. I also listened to this and absolutely loved the audio. audio. I loved the audio book. I gave this book a four stars. I 4.5. Honestly, loved this book. I didn't think I would, but I did. I went for Christmas by Maggie Knox. This was a five star read. I've seen a lot of people getting this a three star, but like, listen, I related way too much to this book with the grief, both parties grieving, like, it addressed really good topics, and one of the things that we were grieving in here was a character named Gran, and that was my great-grandmother's name when she passed away, so I, I just, re I feel like I just related to this book more than other people did, and that's why I gave it a five-star read, but absolutely loved it. The last book that I have picked up so far of the 2022 year coming to a close, which I just finished last night, it was The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello, and I gave this book a three star. Obviously it's a short romance so there's not much to take away from it. I thought it was good. It was a solid three star holiday read. Nothing bad about it. Just didn't really stand out with the rest of the holiday reads that I've read in the past and obviously read this year. Like I read all I want for Christmas and then I jumped into this. So I would like to say I had a very successful year and by that I mean I had a very successful past two months because I would not have had this many books read if I did not start reading every single day from November in December but that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to stay tuned I should be at least putting out one more video before the new year rolls around and be sure to stay tuned for all the new content that will be coming in the 2023 season if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more book videos before I come out with others go ahead and click my bookish playlist which I'll link up in the eye now and also in the description box and while you're at it, if you want to see more uploads from me, be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below what your favorite read of 2022 was and what book you're looking forward to in 2023. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. One, two, three.